This is just stupid big. Look at this thing. By the way, that's a 5080. Um, back there is my trusty uh, RX 7900 XT X. I have that car for a little bit. A little bit. Um, this one is from actually a friend of mine, um, and I'm gonna make him an offer on it. Maybe I can grab me a 5080 for the right price. Um, but today we're not gonna be covering that. Uh, today we're gonna be covering this little card here. Um, um, and the reason is I have been seeing this, this little card here being used um, out there in the wild. This is the dual RTX 5060 Ti. This is the uh, 16 gigabyte version. Um, I don't know if there is an 8 gigabyte version of it. I haven't looked or I haven't been, been paying attention to the uh, new graphics card market in a while been busy um, okay busy lazy but anyway let's go ahead and take this apart and uh, see what it's under the under the hood and see what type of MOSFET drivers they're using and uh, see if I could recommend a little car like this stay tuned and okay so let's go ahead and take this little thing apart uh, luckily there is, oh man, okay, there's quite a few screws to go through. Um, yeah, it looks like this shroud here is connected to, yeah, okay. So as uh, usual with these uh, dual cards, the 2000 series was the same thing, same thing with the 3000 series where the uh, plastic shroud is separate from the heatsink itself. I don't know why Asus did that or does that. I have no idea. Um, but that seems to be the case with um, most of these dual graphics cards. Um, and also, they particularly don't like to use high-end high uh, parts with, this, um, with these cards goes the warranty okay so okay so here we go let's see how this comes off oh we got two more screws here in the front that we got to remove so let's do that now if I had to guess this is probably gonna be alpha and omega driver MOSFETs yeah see what did I tell you they it's, I don't know, it's a design preference by Asus. Uh, so the shroud is separate from the heat sink, which actually makes it easy to swap fans if you ever have to, uh, you know, fix a fan that went bad. You don't have to remove the heat sink. So. Um, and this is your heat sink here. And this should be ready to come off by now so why don't we do that um, <laughs> that actually wow that did not take much that did not take much uh, and they are using um, a thermal or a face change material here as you can see on the heat sink here that looks like face change to me. Yeah, I think it is. And here is your graphics card. Now, uh, let me take a look at the uh, driver MOSFETs here real quick. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but maybe this thing can focus. I don't know how close I can get this to the camera, but um, yep. I have to look at this. Uh, I have to look at these driver MOSFET driver MOSFETs with the uh, microscope because. Okay, so 
what do we have here? All right, so in case um, you guys want to see, let me just take a take this up a little bit so you guys can take a look at and see what the what I am looking at. And um, I have not actually seen these driver MOSFETs before. Uh, let's see. UP UP ninety six four six A. Let me do a quick Google search on this here because I have no idea what the specs are for these uh, MOSFETs. Okay, so according to the specs, these are made by a company called UP Semi, and these are fifty amp rated power drivers. Um, for the memory, it looks like they went with the <laughs> with the end channel configuration here, which is okay. I mean, I yeah. Um, as far as the memory, uh, yeah, they're GDDR6 seven, or I'm sorry, <laughs> G DDR7 uh, memory modules C uh, SC28, as you can see there. So K4VAF325ZCSC28. So yeah, in case you were wondering. Quality-wise, what I think about the drivers, the driver MOSFETs that um, ACES decided to go with here. If it's not MPS or Infineon, I don't know. Uh, I've never heard of this brand here. This is something new to me. Maybe they've been out for years and I've just been too much of a noob to <laughs> recognize it. But I have never seen this brand. I've never even heard of it. Um, I mean, I have seen the, I have seen controller, like uh, voltage controllers. There are UP9512s, for example, and so forth. But this stuff, UP9646A. Um, so it's yeah, di different brand and different... Uh, yeah, everything. Uh, but anyway, so 16 gigabytes and they are double. So you have two, you have four chips here in the front and four chips in the back. Now for you as a end user, this is not a big deal, okay? But for me or people that repair these cars for a living, uh, it's a pain in the butt because uh, having a double double sided you have to um, do a little bit of research you know how to how to how to tell in, in uh, NVMT uh, which model is the one which 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 chip is the one giving you trouble or throwing errors is it the front one or the back one um, and so yeah usually what I do I just replace both of them front and back um, say myself some time um, but yeah that's 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 it now let's look at the uh, memory pads or sorry not the memory pads <laughs> let's look at the at the um, thermal pads that they're using here and these are 1.5 yep these are 1.5 millimeter pads that you're looking at here 1.5 I can just tell by looking at it. Um, and they are pretty soft, so I like that. They're not stiff, so they mold really easy to the memory chip. Um, as far as the um, coil, the coils here, they're using uh, also 1.5, 1.5 millimeter pads. And on the VRM, they are using this, yeah, it's also 1.5. So, that there. See if this thing can focus. Anyway, yeah, so that is 1.5. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, nothing too spectacular here to see. Very basic layout. Uh, GDDR7. 50 amp MOSFETs and uh, power drivers, you got five of them. So yeah, an end channel for the memory. 
And that's your dual, Asus dual RTX 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte um, yeah, card. So uh, let's look at the, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's look at the back, yeah. And as you can see there, these pads here on the other hand, this here at the back, they look like, these look like, they're also 1.5, yeah. Yeah, these are 1.5. Uh, and they, they come with this one here, this, you know, this, uh, this cards come with this pad here also. This one here is a 2.5 pad and it's basically to cool, to help cool your end channel or, you know, your memory uh, MOSFETs here. Um, so you have to transfer that heat to the back plate here. Uh, and I like the fact that they actually made a cut out here on the plastic. I have seen some of these manufacturers, uh, Zotac, you're guilty, where they actually don't cut out the, <laughs> the plastic. They just leave it there and then put a thermal pad over it to supposedly cool the back of the, or one component, you know, some component of the back on the back of the card uh, without making a cut out. So it can be, you know, directly to the metal. Pretty shameful. But yeah, this is a uh, 2.5 that you're looking at here. And uh, yeah. That's your layout for the back of the card. Yeah. And it also comes with a bio switch here up at the top. Yeah. Yeah, very, um, very basic, very simple. Uh, the, uh, the AMD RX by Sapphire, the RX 7600, 16 gigabyte version has the same configuration four chips here four chips here so yeah nvidia is not the only one that's guilty <laughs> but anyway that's it guys it was just a quick tear down and uh pass down some information in case you guys want to do a, a thermal pad replacement well you're looking at uh, uh 1.5 millimeter pads that you, you're going to need all around these are 1.5s uh, in the back same thing and then you got again this big one here which is a 2.5 uh, millimeter pad so that's it that was just a tear down of the card um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do if you don't if you didn't like the video for whatever reason you also know what to do uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel as that helps uh, yeah that helps the channel out I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.